Hello and welcome to the overview of our avionics demo using RTI Connect. What you see here are the components of our demo. We can use different flight simulators as input. In this video we use Flygear, but we also have plugins for Microsoft Flight Simulators, Prepare 3D and others. The position, lat long altitude, orientation, pitch roll and heading, and speed are published to the data bus. The data is received by three different cockpit displays from ANSYS, ENSCO and Presages. There are two map displays, a local application using Google Maps and a web application which is hosted on an AWS instance. Both maps track the location of the plane. In addition to the location information, we also replay ADS-B data using RTI Connect's replay service to simulate air traffic in the area. The ENSCO map display and the Google map application display the simulated air traffic. As you can see, as the plane turns, the gauges in the different CDS and flight gear are showing the same information. Speed, pitch roll, heading, lat, long and altitude are updated based on the flight simulator data. The rest of the data is simulated. Let's look at the block diagram. Here we see the components mentioned before. Flight Gear Flight Simulator, the three CDS, ANSYS, ENSCON Presages, as well as the two map displays. You can also see the two topics, update location and ADSP data. In addition, we have Replay Service, which publishes pre-recorded ADSP data to simulate air traffic in the area. We have an adapter, which takes data from Flight Gear and publishes it out to the data bus. We also have a gateway which publishes the location data to the AWS cloud using the real-time main transport of Connect Anywhere. The ANSYS CDS is based on the ANSYS Face Conformant A661 server and uses the ANSYS Face data model, which is different than the data model used in the rest of the demonstration. Therefore, we added a gateway which transforms the data models. The RTI Connect Admin Console provides a system view. As we can see, all the applications run on two machines. Everything runs in domain zero. The domain view shows the different components, topics, and how they are connected. Position update goes from Flygear to the Enscon Presage CDS, the Google Maps, and the transformation to the face data model. ADSB is connected to the Google Maps and Ensco. The face topic goes to the ANSI CDS, which also has the A661 messages encapsulated over Connect. This is the Flygear adapter, which serves two functions. One is the adapter as described before, and the other is the connection to the AWS cloud. The one with the transform indication is the connection to AWS, as it adds the plane ID. This one here is the transformation from the update location to the face data model. You can also subscribe to the data and see how the update location is updated here. Or we can visualize it as a sample log where we see the different updates coming in. We can create a time chart. Here we are just plotting pitch and roll you will see that the values change then there they're now being plotted as we're making a turn the roll is changing pitch stays more or less the same and now we can actually look at it how this looks in in flight gear so we see just the end of our turn here in flight gear If we subscribe to ADSB data, you will notice something different. You will see a lot of information here. So once again, that's the simulated traffic in the area. And since there are multiple planes in here, you will now see multiple instances of the same topic. So each of this row is actually a different plane that's being simulated flying around the area and having its own updates. Here shows the replay service, the different 
entities and we can also have a look at the configuration. As we can see, right now the data is being updated on the ENSCO map. You will see that the values are changing of the different planes that are simulated being in the surrounding area. What I can do is I can actually stop now the replay service and you will notice that the data is no longer updating. Now I can go back and resume it and at the moment I resume the replay data will be updated again. This is the instance that's running in the AWS cloud and you can actually go to that web page anytime and if you're lucky you will see our demo running. If not there are others that are up there but you can click on any of the icons there and it will give you the details on name and where it is located. Now that you know what all the different components are of the demo, once again, here is everything together on one screen. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any further questions, feel free to contact us.